Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton, and tonight's channeling of the Arcturian Council will be accompanied by Kaliandra's purring. She's right here. <laughs> oh. Sustaining ourselves by allowing in the highest frequency energies available to us and letting those energies fuel our consciousness. We have said this before and we will say it again. We are not so different from all of you. The main difference between the ninth dimensional Arcturian Council and the average Earthling is that we choose consciously which energies we allow to move to us and through us. Whereas for you, it can be 
much more of an unconscious choice. One that is not taking your feelings into consideration. You get to choose what you focus upon, and there is so much for you to focus upon in your information age. And so you have to choose wisely. You must ask yourselves, how will this make me feel? Before deciding whether or not to engage with it. If you want to be truly conscious creators, Many people decide based on whether they think it's true or whether it will be entertaining. And that is simply going to lead them down a path that it will be then hard to get off of because of how exciting it can be to be on that path. We often see people using the terminology light warrior in the new age and spiritual communities. And what those people usually mean is that they're on earth to battle with darkness. In other words, they believe they are the ones who are being sent as the light warriors to defeat those who are playing in the dark. And they take this assignment very seriously. That is not why anyone is there on earth. We prefer the term light bringer to light warrior. Because you are in fact there to spread the light around. You are there to be the light. And one of the ways that you get there is by letting go of your fear of the darkness. You must let go of your judgment of the darkness and those who are playing in the dark as well, if you are ever going to rise above it. Let us say you were to defeat the darkness. with whatever skills and abilities you had obtained as a light warrior. Well then, you would be in that dualistic system at the end of the battle. 
And that means more darkness would just come and replace the ones that you defeated. And you would not grow because you would not learn to love all that is. All that you see outside of you and all that you hear about from others, it is all inside of you. You ultimately want to be able to love all aspects of creation because you want to be able to love all aspects of you. It is the only way to allow the true you, the source energy aspect of you, to come to the surface and be the aspect of you that is running the show. And so, we recommend that you focus on the light, that you focus on what is positive out there in the world and what is positive in you. Because you are also not going to get very far by constantly looking for problems within you that need fixing. You are not going to grow by judging your own negative aspects as bad. Once you embrace it all, then you can choose. Then you can realize that it was all inside of you all along, and all you had to do was choose consciously what you wanted to amplify, what you wanted to feel more of and be more of. And then and only then will you be of service to the whole of humanity. And that is how we see it from our perspective. Which again is one where we are only allowing in that which is of the light, that which is of the truth of who we really are as source energy, as unconditional love. Connecting with you. Oh. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Kai, I'm just like, all right, I'm ready now. <laughs> You're done with all that business. Here I am. She's so cute. I mean, come on. I'm just surrounded by cuteness in this house. Um, it's such a nice uh, send off tonight as uh, Talea went to bed and I left uh, her in the bed. And um, she gave me a lot of uh, 
Eskimo kisses and you know we, we do this thing now where we like touch foreheads and then Eskimo kisses and she gave me like 10 of them <laughs> so um, and she was doing it to my wife too on the hike because because uh, we did a hike we did the we went to the beach and we went to the forest too and on the hike um, my wife was telling her because she'll be like Talia will be like running 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 and it's the cutest thing in the world and then she'll be like up up so then my wife picks her up because she didn't want to be picked up by me she wanted to be picked up by her and uh and then she'll be like down 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 <laughs> my wife said well i'll put you down but um before i put you down you have to give me a you know like a nose kiss thing and so she <laughs> <laughs> like continuously you like up and then you go right from up to like nose kiss and then put back down. <laughs> so it was pretty funny we um we had quite a quite a good day today uh i hope you had a great day today too and um that things are going well in your world uh <clears throat> i have one announcement i want to make and that's the High Vibration Masterclass, which people are really signing up for uh, in large numbers. It's really great to see it. Um, it um, starts at the very end of this month, May 31st. Um, it's a three-week course where I teach and I channel to and I, I answer your questions and you join by phone or computer. You get a recording. So even if you can't show up live, it's still um, worth attending. And you can ask questions via email or online form. So that link will be down below if you're watching on the YouTube and everywhere else. It's danielscranton.com slash vibe to get to that page on my website. Um, yeah, I got a really late start tonight, so I'm going to just go now. And uh, I was I had a hard time getting myself up after my meditation. I'm still not, I'm not really sleeping well in the morning. And uh, I know it's there's something going on. I'm also losing some of my appetite at night, um, whereas usually I'd go after doing this and have some pistachios and some fruit. And um, several nights I haven't had the appetite for that. So um, there's definitely something going on, some kind of transformation going on here. <laughs> so hopefully I won't need as much sleep will be the end result. Because I've already gotten down to seven. Like if I get seven hours, I'm, I'm golden. But um, lately it's been hard to get that many. So anyway, namaste, blessings. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel on YouTube if you're watching there. Everywhere else, come back um, Friday because, or Saturday probably for most of you, because I take tomorrow night off, so no new video tomorrow. Um, check out the archives on YouTube. There's thousands of these, so... I'm taking tomorrow night off, getting up early Friday to um, take care of today, let my wife sleep in for a change. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, hope everything is going well. Take care. See you soon. Enjoy the purr sound of Kaliandra as I say goodnight. <laughs>